As the fight against insurgents in Afghanistan moves into its 10th year, officials both there and in Pakistan say the Taliban have been in contact about peace talks, but won't formally negotiate until the U.S. agrees on a timeline for pulling out all foreign troops. The Washington Post is reporting preliminary talks have already begun between Kabul and representatives of the Afghan Taliban. Ambassador James Dobbins recently returned from talking about peace negotiations in Afghanistan and says Taliban leaders now seem more willing than before to discuss a deal. I think that they feel under pressure. Um, I think they uh, are skeptical that they can win a complete victory on the battlefield despite their rhetoric. The Pentagon says lower level Taliban fighters have been showing interest in reconciliation, but it's unclear where that will lead. I don't know that anybody is to the point yet where they see a trend. On the war's ninth anniversary, there are several critical junctures besides reconciliation. Tensions along the Pakistan border, where NATO forces have upped the fight against insurgent strongholds, and waning public appetite for a war that has seen 30,000 more American troops added this year, and more than 1,200 killed over nine years. It's not surprising that America's, Americans are begin wondering whether this is worth it. But I think that, that one has to recognize that the country has progressed quite significantly. When he announced the invasion, George W. Bush said the Afghan war would be won by the patient accumulation of successes. Nine years later, the Pentagon admits it needs to show concrete progress in the next few months or risk losing the American public's backing. Sagar Magani, The Associated Press, Washington.